my name is Nick from Portainer and in this video I'll be showing you how to install Portainer with inside Docker Swarm. So on the screen you can see this is our official documentation for installing Portainer with Docker Swarm and a link to this documentation will be in the video description below. So if you want to follow along, check it out. So there's three main points that I just want to cover under the introduction section here. So we just want to make sure that you have Docker installed of course and it's up and working and that you have swarm mode enabled and that your docker swarm environment is actually up and running as well and that you have sudo access to that environment so you can actually deploy the services so if you have those three um, then you're all good to go and follow along with the deployment now there is going to be a section uh, when I get Portainer deployed, it will ask me for a license key. Now this is because I'm deploying the business edition. Now if you're deploying Portainer community edition, you don't have to worry about a license key, but for Portainer business edition, it will ask me for the license key. So that's why you'll see a prompt later on in this video. So under the deployment section here, you can see that there's a bit of a warning message and this is for good reason. So let me just take a moment and read this out. So only do this once for your environment. Regardless of how many nodes are in the cluster, you do not need to add each node in your cluster as a separate environment in Portainer. So what this means is when we deploy this, when we deploy the stack YAML manifest to deploy Portainer with inside Docker Swarm, all of our nodes will appear under the one environment for us. And I'll show you that in a second once we get Portainer deployed. So you don't need to worry about adding each individual node that you have as a separate environment in Portainer. Okay. All in all of the nodes inside of your Docker Swarm environment will all fall under the one environment for you. And I'll show you what that looks like in a quick second. Let's just take a quick moment as well to look at the Docker Swarm environment that I'll be using for this video. So you can see here that I am using three nodes and those three nodes consist of swarm managers. So yeah, this is the environment that I'll be deploying Portainer to. So the first step here is to just retrieve the stack YAML manifest and we can do that by copying this command here and this will pull down the Portainer agent stack YAML manifest for us. So let's jump to our server and we can paste this in and hit enter. And I can hit LS and we can see that we now have our YAML manifest file sitting there ready to be used. Now let's jump back to the documentation. And we can see the next step is to use the docker stack deploy portainer agent stack YAML file. So well, we just need to make sure that where you're running this command is in the same place that you pulled down that YAML uh, file. Okay, so let's just copy that, head back to our server, paste this command in. And again, we're in the same directory where we pulled that YAML uh, manifest file. So this one here, I can hit enter. And now it's creating the Portainer agent network for us, the Portainer agent service and the Portainer service itself. So we can actually have a look at these services. So if we do a Docker service LS, we can see that those two services are up and running. We have our three replicas. They're all good, three out of three. And we have our Portainer service running as well. So we can actually go to the Docker Swarm manager's IP address, so this one here, and we can connect to it and connect to Portainer. So let's go ahead and do that. So you can see at the top here, we have HTTPS, the IP address of the server I'm using, and on port 9443. So make sure you're using HTTPS to connect to this, otherwise you'll get a message, and I'll show you what that message looks like in a second. You can see here, I'll make this a bit bigger. Client sent an HTTP request to an HTTPS server. So if you get that message, just make sure you, you are using HTTPS. Now, we're getting this connection is not private because we're using a self-signed key. This is okay, so what we can do, uh, I'm using Safari, so each browser is a bit different, but you can essentially go show details, and then we can go visit this website. And now we've hit Portainer and I can create my new user. So I just need to set a password for my admin user here. And I can hit create user. So that's our admin account all sorted. Now, like I mentioned before, I'm using the Portainer business edition. So I do need to input my license here. So I'll just quickly do that. 
and I'll hit submit. And now we are in Portainer, we have it all up and running. So we can click home here and we can see our environment. So what we can do is we can click with inside of this environment and then we can come down on the left hand side here where it says swarm and we can see our three nodes. Our three nodes are all up and running and we can see the status and the availability, availability of each one. We can also come down into services and those two services that I mentioned before in the command line, we can see them here as well. And we can open them up and we can see that there's three running here. And we can also see the containers that are running as well. And that is getting Portainer all set up with inside of your Docker Swarm environment. Now, in another video, we will cover highly high availability for Portainer with inside of your Docker Swarm environment. So make sure to keep an eye out for that video. So you now have Portainer running inside of your Docker Swarm environment. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you've got any questions, make sure to check out our GitHub discussions, our Slack, or leave a comment in the YouTube uh, comments below and we'll be more than happy to help you out with any questions you have. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye!